welcome on back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. <sighs> really don't have anything creative to say there. I, I tried to think of something over the past couple nights, but I got nothing. Alright, we'll just load up the save file and get right to it. We didn't quite finish exploring uh, in town here, and I want to poke around a little more. Always on the hunt for stardust and other interesting tidbits like that. There's water in it. I wonder if it's drinking water. <laughs> Take a sip and find out. If you get sick, it is not drinking water. If you don't get sick, you could probably drink some more. That's terrible advice. Absolutely terrible. Everything in my house leans to one side. What am I gonna do? Uh, develop one stronger leg than the other? I don't know. Look at those guys on the terrace. Just because they cannot go fishing, they're sulking and just fooling around. Oh, why can't they go fishing? The bed doesn't sag. <laughs> yeah, they propped up the bed so it's nice and flat. Which I suppose, if I put myself in that situation, I would much rather walk around crooked all day and then sleep on a nice level bed rather than um, try to sleep at a weird angle. At least my sleep would be restful and I'd be ready for another day of crooked walking, you know? The game the mayor and the others are playing is for three guys. I got left out, so I'm sunbathing here. That's nice. I'd like to go past you and see if that's like a cable car to go somewhere else. But I, I guess I'm not allowed. Well, that exploration was fairly short, but I think we're done. <laughs> it seems to be about all this place has to offer. Okay, let's head to that next town and see about getting the boy's mother some medical attention. Oh, but first, I want to do a couple things. Right, right, the triangle button, not the start button. First of all, let's take a look at what Dart and Rose have equipped. So right now I've got the Night Shield, which ups my defense. Um, I could raise my maximum HP. I could recover some SP each turn. Hit rate for attacking everybody. I think that would be better suited to someone like Shauna, who's going to use multi-target. But Shauna's always going to be wearing the spirit ring. Um, or maybe not the spirit ring, the um, whichever one it is that restores uh, HP. SP, Shauna's an SP factory. She just needs to attack a couple times and she's good. Uh, Bandit's ring, increase agility by 20. Red Eye Stone, reduce damage from fire-based attack by half. Dart already reduces. Silver Stone is uh, same but light-based. When damaged by magic, MP is accumulated. Oh. Um, bracelet does nothing. That's the automatic addition. No insta-death. Another Bandit's Ring may slightly increase physical defense power, but the Night Shield is better. No stun, no fear. Okay, so Dart is pretty well good to go. Um, Rose has the same accessory. I just updated her weapon. So I think she's okay too. As far as additions go, uh, Dart's still going to work on Madness Hero. And then Rose can start working on more and more. Alright, so I think we're all set. Uh, no, no. No, no entry. I want to get in a battle out here on the world map. Just so I can uh, try out Rose's addition. Oh, what's that weird looking thing? Some kind of tentacle monster. I don't think there's eight, so it's not an octopus. Is that a septopus? Are there seven? I can see six, but there might be one more that I can't see because of where his head's positioned. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Pentapus from Chrono Cross. It had five tentacles. Oh, <laughs> whoa. 
Yeah, I mean, we know Rose doesn't hold back. Shit. Ha. Ha. Die. Dang, girl. Okay, this is a glare, and it looks like it's, uh, I got my handy piece of paper with all my elements written down. Um, that looks either blue or green. Since it's water, I'm gonna, uh, or well, since it is a creature that looks like it would live in water, I'm gonna guess that this color I'm seeing on my screen is blue um, for water. So it's weak to fire. That said, we're not gonna be using fire. Oh, what is going on here? Okay, well, good turn to have Dark Guard, I guess. Okay, so Rose's addition is pretty easy. Um, her level 2 addition, I should say, or her second addition? It's not level 2 that she got it. You know what I mean. More and more, as opposed to Whip Smack. Um, speaking of more and more, I want to do one more overworld encounter. Just to practice with Rose a tiny bit more before we move on. Okay, this is kind of a another watery looking. I was going to say it looks kind of like a, a terrifying mermaid, and sure enough, it is a mermaid. So, there you go. Rose's attack seems to damage it pretty well. Uh, Dart's still doing fine. I can Dragoonize, but I can't special. I guess you need three party members to use special. Um, so Dart's gonna guard. Charging Spirit. Okay. I think it's time for Dart to attack, just so that the mermaid doesn't get in whatever special attack it was going to use. I guess I could have used that uh, item where a foe can't move for three turns. In fact, if I wanted to level grind Rose right now, I think that's what I would do, uh, is I would have Dart use the paralyzing item, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, my, my house phone is ringing. Let me mute my mic for a sec while we get in this other battle. Okay, phone's all finished. That is my fifth spam call today on our house line. And it's highly unusual. We almost never get spam calls here. But today we've had five. Like, name unknown, or like from some random state. Um, I want to say there was one from like Oklahoma. And for uh, reference, I live in Washington state. So it's really weird to see out-of-state numbers call us. Not doxing myself, Washington State is a darn big place. But yeah, it's bizarre. I don't know what happened, if there was a data leak somewhere recently maybe? That sold a bunch of phone numbers or compromised a bunch? Like, we never get junk calls, maybe like once every three or four days. Um, I don't need this healing potion. Um, but five today, and it's only two in the afternoon. So anyway, I was going to explain what I was doing in that last fight, uh, except my house phone was ringing. I just wanted to try out using that paralyze item. The, you know, enemy can't move for three turns, and it, it worked, so. Not gonna waste time grinding on video, of course. Pete says, since the monster appeared, the water has never ebbed, but it's okay, because Fueno is not this way. 
Okay, interesting tidbit, but you could have just told me, you know, Fueno is this way. <laughs> you know, start with the relevant information, kid. Then give me the fluff. Fueno's this way. This water hasn't ebbed since the monster showed up. Something like that, you know? It's not a criticism, by the way. It's just his character, and it's A-OK. -okay. Just kind of struck me as funny. Or amusing? Amusing. See, I've got a three-year-old. So I'm used to, you know, kids telling me things in random order. My kid's hilarious, though. Um, there we go. Had to focus on that. He'll do something like he says, I want to ask you a question. Okay, what's your question? I want to give you a hug. That's not a question, but of course you can have a hug, little guy. Like, a question would be, you know, may I have a hug or something? But he's like, I want to ask you a question. I want to give you a hug. That's his idea of a question. Three-year-old logic, you know. You know how it is. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. Oh, Rose, don't miss. Okay, now we're going to have to revive Rose. No! They're attacking dirt. Okay, good. Oh. Oh. I think she lives. Oh, she lives with 8 HP. I guess I got to pay a little more attention. Let's pop a healing breeze. Just woof. I did not see an item shop in that last town either, so it's not like I could have bought, you know, fire attacks. Which a fire attack all would come in very useful right now. I think the play is going to be to use the Sig Stone on this one that hasn't taken much damage yet. The staunch the damage flow a little bit, because holy cow. <laughs> oh, there goes Rose. Alright. And we've already spent two of the, the stuck one's turns. Great. Yes. And I messed up my addition. This is a giant mess. Uh, things are not looking good. And that's all three turns. They're just gonna... Okay, I feel this was a little unfair. Like, they just spammed me to death. There was nothing I could do. That's some crap right there. Ah. Okay. Reload the old saver Rooney. Try it again. Uno momento, por favor. Did I talk to you yet? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I gotta go to Fueno. Okay, shut up. That was a lot of words. I should have read it aloud, I'm sorry. Um, I was hoping that was like... She was going to be like, do you want to buy something for the journey? No. She basically just said, Pete's Ma fell ill. Um, needs to go to Fueno, where there's a miraculous hot spring. So. I'm going to get in a couple battles out here on the world map to uh, get Rose the experience again. Um, yeah. 
That uh, that attack against those three things in the cave that was that was stupid. What the heck? Part of it was me messing up my addition, but like, oh, so he just gets to bounce physical attacks now. Okay. No more turns for you. So like if I get into a fight with a group of three of those things again, I didn't even check what they were named. What should I do? Um, dart takes a lot of damage, but I can't have Dart guard because I need him to kill off a couple quickly. If I use the magic Sig Stone right away, that reduces the initial damage flow. I don't take as much damage right off the bat. Um, Maybe I'll take a look at what items are in my inventory and see if I have a multi-hit that I could just throw out there real quick. Oops. Uh, I was not thinking. I meant to use the Sig Stone. So that Rose could get more turns. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm recovering the SP that I lost from that game over and also um, the addition usage points for Rose. Apologies that we have to do this over again, but when a fight goes that stupid, I mean... Okay, I don't know what was wrong with that addition. Honestly, the second hit felt exactly right to me. So, not sure how I missed. Okay, that was late. That one felt really bad. <laughs> Alright. One more battle on the overworld. Need to use Rose's addition. I'm going to say two more times before I go into the cave. Also, Rose has really low hit points. I was just seeing that, like, Dart has 1,300 and Rose has 600, almost 700. I don't think I can grab the equipment off of Shauna since our party is separated. And I don't think Rose has a good, um, what do you want to call it, chest armor? Like, I think Shauna has the good one, as I recall. Whoops. Should have used the Sig Stone. That's okay. But anyway, especially with water being weak to fire, the things in the cave, I think, will fall to dart much more quickly than to rose, so want to have Dart attacking. I can't have him just defending to prevent that damage. Okay, Pete's going to say the same thing again. Hopefully no, it's not that way. Hopefully no, it's this way. There we go. Getting a battle. Hope it's not awful. Uh, could be worse. Could also be better. Seemed like she was doing good damage to the mermaids out on the world map, so I figured I'd target them in here too. Okay, come on, you guys are annoying. Okay, you're putting up a barrier. I won't attack you for now. Let's see. Oh, the nice thing about that game over is I got my healing breeze back. 
It's a dark lining. Or, uh, silver lining. Dark lining. Goodness, I was looking at the item. Um, this is a single attack using dark element and can be multied. All attack with earth can be multied. Light, powerful all attack. Earth, powerful all attack. Dark, poisons a minor enemy. Double agility. Allow minor enemy attack three times. I can only choose my own party members, so I assume that it's saying you're going to attack me three times in a row. Um, let's double Rose's agility. Sure. See how that goes. All out attack? What is this, Persona? That was a pretty heavy hit, to be fair. Rose's turn again. Alright, that's one down. This guy's still got his barrier up, or perhaps a new one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use. Actually, I don't want to heal just yet. Let's try this meteor fall. Come on, thumbs don't fail me now. 182, I'll take it. But yeah, that that did the trick. And now in between battles, I'm gonna go ahead and heal Dart. Use healing potion dart. There you go, buddy. I feel like getting in one more fight on this screen. Come on, show me that awful party that decimated me last time. I'm ready to ruin their day. Ooh, I think that's them. Those are the jerks, the sea piranhas. As promised, I'm just gonna throw that. Oh! Dark Mist. His Dark Dancing Ray is light. I have a few of those left over from the ghost ship. Let's do it. Come on, thumbs. Go, 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 go. Only 162. That's alright. If they could just keep using physical attacks, that'd be great. Oops. I got distracted by the pretty flashing lights. I didn't start uh, mashing X in time, but I still got a high multi percentage. That was cool. Okay. Well, I feel as though I've had vengeance. Let's move on to the next screen. Oh, it's a world map already. And there's Fueno. I'm pretty sure that's going to be Fueno anyway. Ooh, what's this interesting little guy? Some kind of jar? Okay, bye. <laughs> he just smacked me in the face and ran away. That's got to be one of those enemies that only have like 5 HP that give you a lot of reward if you manage to kill them. Like that bluebird I got a while back. I assume it's the same deal. Okay, single enemy. No, we know what to do here. Sigstone. Man, if the Sigstone doesn't break, that's super good for overworld grinding. Holy cow. Okay. And then Dart can guard, get some of those HP back. Okay. 
Okay, that's his second cannot move. Unless I miscounted. Ah, but it does not matter. Okay. We're not really anywhere close to leveling up on either of these characters, unfortunately. So this little grinding is not going to get me much. However, I am interested in getting SP and addition usage for Rose. So I'm going to do just a little more. Okay, there's its first one. How did you miss if the enemy can't move? Rose, please. I always get frustrated in games where it's like, the enemy is paralyzed, the enemy cannot move. Pokemon, for example. And your character missed. How, how, how did you miss? Foe has been put to sleep. Foe evaded your attack. What? He's asleep. <sighs> anyway, I took one hit that I shouldn't have had to take. But it's not too big of a problem. Let's do a quick check on additions. Uh, yes, wrong button once again. Addition. Rose. More and more is at 15 of 20. So what say we do five more, more and fifth, five more and more, 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 more lemores, more L mushrooms. More or less. I need to do five more iterations of more and more. There we go. I got there. Oh, I hit and I still did zero. Interesting. I wonder if I have to use magic items on this guy. Stop! Three in a row? Are you kidding me? And a barrier yes. afterwards? Oh, Dart, you were so late. Yes, I know I'm doing zero. However, that's two more, more and more. So now I just need three. I don't mind that I don't get a reward. I was there to grind additions. That was exactly what I wanted. Minus Rose getting smacked around. What the heck? Ooh, I just thought of a good way to beat those guys. Yeah, it's exactly what you expect. The magic Sig Stone. I get to go first. Use the Sig Stone. Mm. Two more of those left. Still two. Come on, Rose. Don't be like that. And there's all three. It's way too agile. Okay, I need to use one more, more, and more, and more, and more, and one, and one more, and one more time. Daft Punk. Oh, I should listen to some Daft Punk this afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. I'm, like I said earlier, I don't know if you caught it, uh, I'm recording at like two in the afternoon for once, instead of at night. Uh, my kid has a pediatrician appointment today, and my wife took him, so 
got the house uh, nice and quiet, and I can do a little bit of recording. That was not a misclick, I just wanted to get through this fight quickly. Uh, now that I've got all 20 of the more and mores. Okay, I'm just gonna check the addition menu real quick to make sure that I didn't miscount. And then I think I can uh, head into Fueno. And yes, I just hit the start button once again, because I'm a fool. It is what it is. Um, oh, Dart is getting close to leveling up Madness Hero as well. And yeah, I've got more than 20 uses of more and more. And now I'll start earning 45 SP per successful use. Wonderful. Okay, let's go to Fueno. Pretty much right at the half hour mark too. So maybe we can spend a half hour in Fueno and wrap up the episode uh, with our next goal in mind. Perhaps. Here we are at Fueno! Thank you! Dart and Rose! You have to get better soon and make Pete happy. I hope you can find your friends soon. But are you actually in love with each other? Because in that cave, you... You are a good boy and didn't see anything, okay? Uh, okay. I didn't see it, maybe? It's nothing, uh, we're going. You still want to pet the dog. Rose, you gotta confess to him! Kids. That was not the right Rose voice. What are you looking at? Yeah, no, like, canonically, it's gotta be Dart and Shauna, right? I don't know. I know nothing about canon in this game. I'm learning as I go. <laughs> Alright, what do you have, buddy? Uh, give me two of those, for sure. Charm potion reduces risk of encounter. Ooh, interesting. Burnout and gushing magma. You know? I could go level grind with this stuff if I wanted to. I don't want to. It wouldn't do me much good, because if I want to grind, what I need to grind is Rose's additions. So I would need to use her additions, not magic items. That said... That said... I'm gonna go ahead and sell off... Let's see... One of those. For now, I feel like I don't need as many angels' prayers, so we'll get rid of one of those. Darkness based, wind based. I kind of want to hang on to the ones that have elemental attributes for now. Um. Seven, so 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I have five slots to work with. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get some uh, fire magic that Dark can throw around. <laughs> it's the same guy. <laughs> he just ran upstairs. Okay. Now... 
D I uh hello from 7 to 26 is it just me or is that an enormous improvement yes okay we're gonna grab one of these for Shauna one of these for whoever Morningstar I'm going to assume is a Kongol weapon possibly um, Meru or Hashel, but probably Kongol. Um, ooh, I lose some magic defense if I take the plate mail. So actually, I think I'm going to stick with what I've got. But Rose is absolutely getting a sparkle dress. And that's an upgrade all around. So, night home for Dart. What a productive visit to the shop. What do I want to sell? S armor. Um, get rid of the sale. Salad? Sale? Sale? I don't know. Uh, the silver vest. The morning star and the bemusing arrow I want to keep. This old sword I'm going to eat. And I think I want to hang on to the rest of the stuff that I have. We'll go ahead and sort everything, though, just to take a quick look. Um, I do have two stun guards and two bravery amulets, but that's possibly something that would be good against bosses later, question mark. So I'll keep them for now. The War Gods amulets, why not? I've got the inventory space. I'm not looking to make any money at the moment. The fake shield and the bracelet can go, though. I know for sure those are useless. And if I've just made a giant mistake by selling the fake shield, do let me know in the comments. But... Uh, I will live with the consequences of my decision. I can't see a fake shield really being important to the story. Unless it is. I don't know. It's a nice day today. Yes, yeah, I agree. Can I talk to the bartender? Or is he going to ignore me? I guess he's going to ignore me. Okay, then. The stone in the back is... Stardust? <laughs> hey, all right. Oh, okay. Um, I want to say I'm now... Three? Two or three away from my next Stardust reward. Excuse me? Sorry, but all the rooms are full. If you really want to stay here, come back on another day. Oh, I can't even go up and look? All right. Well, bummer. Um, I guess I don't need to heal all that badly, though. I just saw a save spot. Okay, before I go down here, I want to finish looking at this map. Let us save in slot two. There we go. Oh, this is the clinic, yeah? Ouch, ouch, my, my stomach. If you'd like to have a regular treatment, go upstairs to the second floor. Okay. Well, I don't need it right now. I never heard of the painter of this painting, but I have seen this somewhere. <laughs> I've seen Stardust before. We have a clinical facility that takes advantage of our abundant hot springs. Ooh, that sounds lovely. All sorts of bottles are lined up. It seems like medicines for treatment. 
Mash an X everywhere. I'm greedy for stardust. They say I have an illness that is not curable, even with clinical rays. Hey, Pete and Pete's mom. Hey, Dart! Did you find your friends? Oh well, but you'll find them soon. Thanks to you, I made it to the hospital. I really appreciate it, you two. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a swordsman, just like you, Dart. Okay, Pete, you do that and I'll drop the surfer accent. I promise. Okay, regular clinic's upstairs and I don't need treatment, so I don't see a need to go there. Everything is well maintained, just like it should be in a tourist city. Yeah, no stardust laying around. <laughs> look, look! Lots of aunties are carrying a grasshopper. Welcome to Fueno, the town of relaxation and commerce. Seems like a nice place, honestly. I do enjoy a good tourist town. Yeek! What? Is this the ladies' side? I'm sorry, there was absolutely no indication of that. I guess there is on the floor, but you really can't see it at this resolution. <laughs> one's kind of pinkish and one's kind of bluish. Not gonna lie, I thought maybe that was Albert soaking in the springs. <laughs> Looked like his hair at first glance. Uh, in the other side. We cannot put our ship to sea, so we have no choice but to kill time bathing in the hot spring. What a bummer. Oh no. I mean, yeah, it, it sucks that you can't work and can't, you know, get paid, but having to soak in a hot spring sounds like just torture. I mean, if there's nothing else to do, it's probably psychologically rough because you're sitting there thinking, man, I can't do anything else. This sucks. But uh, hot springs on vacation? You could do worse. The boat hasn't come and I cannot get any get in any stock. The boat hasn't come and I have nobody to sell to. I can't do any business. What about all that stuff laying on the blanket in front of you? I'll buy some of it just to be nice. Oh, what did that say? It indeed is the intersection of south and north. There are all sorts of goods being sold here. Yes, yeah, that looked like the same thing. Nothing in the little garden. Nothing here. Nothing here or here or here. Hey, hey, look! It's the Queen Fury! Hey, hey, look! That's who I'm looking for. But first... Ooh! That was a cool pan up. It was very simple, but like... Nice. Imagine yourself as a child in the early 2000s, coming home from school, and you got your old CRT TV. Maybe your parents have upgraded to a flat screen, but maybe not. You're playing Legend of Dragoon, and CRT TV is a little more fuzzy. This is HDMI, so it's nice and sharp on the PS Classic, but you see this. Look at that water. Imagine that on a CRT TV. It would look so good for the day. Today, of course, it doesn't look good, but back then you'd be blown away by that. Well, in that storm, even for the powerful Dart and Rose, you, you are... Mr. Dart! Miss Rose! Kayla, I had you worried. Oh, thank goodness. Both of you are safe. Well, that was nothing. Oh, did you see Miss Shauna? No. Please go see her. Hurry! She hasn't spoken even a word since you disappeared. Is she on the boat? Everybody's in the city now. I don't want to go on the boat just to look around, but the game is instilling a sense of urgency in me to go find Shauna as quickly as I can, so. Ouch! Don't you have eyes, Meru? Oh! Dart! Rose! I knew it! You guys are alive! Did you see Shauna? Bad boy! Come with me quickly! 
We're in the hotel. Come quick. I like Meru. I think once I get a dragoon spirit for her... Um, uh, side note, thank you, uh, Hour of Omni, once again, um, for commenting on the last video uh, and letting me know I'm on track to get Meru's dragoon spirit. Uh, once I get that dragoon spirit for her, I think I'm going to try her uh, in the party. I definitely do like um, her character. Um, what can I say? If you've ever played Persona 4, one of my favorite characters is Chie. I'm just kind of a sucker for the Genki girl personality. It is what it is. Oh, that was the wrong arrow. Whoops. I got distracted thinking about Ginky Girls. Yes, yes. Straight white cis male. Boring, I know. The point is, I enjoy that character trope, and so once Meru has that dragoon spirit and feels like combat will actually do something, I'll try her out. I'll, I'll, I'll put her in the party, see how it goes. Probably replace Hashel for her, since I can't replace Dart. Not that I'd want to. Dart is the main character. He gets main character privilege. Speaking of, a few episodes back, I, I mentioned a um, fan project for Legend of Dragoon, uh, like upscale and some quality of life fixes. I guess they've finished or almost finished disc one. Uh, one of the things either on their to-do list or maybe it's done, I was a little unclear, is make Dart replaceable in the party. So you could actually have, uh, for example, um, Shauna, Albert, and Hashel as your three battle party members, or uh, Meru, Kongol, and Rose, uh, or any combination thereof without Dart. I thought that was interesting. Sort of reminiscent of the Chrono Cross remaster, where you get an item think it's only new game plus yeah that's right you get it after you beat the game um in new game plus you can switch out surge the main character normally you cannot do that or links as is appropriate for what's happening in the story whether you're playing a surge or surgeon links's body whoops spoilers hopefully you've watched my series on that um it was i found it interestingly implemented on the overworld you'll still see your party of three led by Surge. However, whoever you've swapped out for Surge will show up in battle. So let's say I have Surge, Lena, and Kid, um, but it, I've used the item to swap out Surge for, I don't know, Poshal. Well, I'd still see Surge, Lena, and Kid on the overworld, but once I get in a battle, it would be Poshal, Lena, and Kid. So kind of interesting how they did that. So it still looks like it's Surge's story. Just someone else is fighting at the moment. Let's get back to Dragoon, though. Hmm? Uh, she said the hotel. Meru, where is she? Who am I? Huh? You guys are slowpokes. Welcome back. We were tired of waiting for you. You die impossible. Everybody. Hurry, go see Shauna. She's in the back room upstairs. Let's leave them alone. Rose, she has changed somehow. I agree. I indeed, I got the impression that she has calmed down. In any event, it's a good thing. Yes, but you haven't seen her in battle. Ha! Ha! Die! <laughs> oh... Rose is awesome, don't get me wrong, it's just that was that was more intense than I expected, even from Rose. Uh, here's four empty beds, a chair with nothing on it, a table with nothing on it, another chair, nothing in the bed, stardust, stardust.
Stardust. I'm looking for Stardust. And Shauna, but... Stardust is important too, right? Totes. Totes important. Whoop, what did that say? Everything's maintained perfectly. Every last thing is so well maintained. Bit redundant to have those two sentences strung together. Shauna! Dart? Oh, Dart! I made you worried. Are you crying? It, it was nothing. I'm so happy that I'm crying. So... Please don't say anything. I'm happy, just like this. Peeking is not a ladylike thing to do. I thought you wanted to leave them alone, didn't you? Hmm? It's okay for me. I gotta learn about love and romance. You guys go back, or we're gonna be caught. Kids. Wow! Please excuse us. <laughs> it's typical of Meru. Finally, you smiled. True. It's been a while. Nothing like a comedic break. <laughs> right? That'll always make you smile. Even if you're so relieved that you feel like you can't smile just yet. Something funny happens and you realize how back to normal things are and you just smile. And this and that, we finally made it to Fueno. Not only that, you two are safe and sound. It is just a miracle that the seven of us can meet again. We have to offer our thanks to the Tiburon God. We ought to return the favor to the God by taking the Moon Dagger back. We have to catch Linus then. May I ask you a question, please? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal like that? You guys were alone in the cave, weren't you? Did you guys put yourselves into... Um... A romantic situation? Maru, don't be silly. Even though you are trying to learn about love, it's too rude. Okay. So, Dart... Did you cuddle with Rose? Hashel! Sorry, sorry, it slipped out. What do you mean, slipped? Don't worry, Shauna. Dart was concerned about you the whole time. Anyway, about Linus. We should go out and ask about her in the city. We might find out something. I... I agree. <laughs> Dirt just wants out of that awkward situation. Dude, it's not cuddling if you're literally saving someone's life. Come on. Okie dokie, let's see. I had been using... Hashel. So... I think we shall go with Hashel once again. All right. You know, it's a little early, but that feels like a really good note to end on. So that's going to do it for this episode. Next time around, we'll go looking for Linus. Lenus? Lenus. Len... You... Uh, no, I can't come up with any other ways to pronounce that name. <sighs> I'm trying too hard. I'll stop there. <laughs> and now I'm laughing too hard to do my spiel. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It helps the video get seen and the channel to grow. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. Uh, I update, upload episodes of Legend of Dragoon every Monday and Wednesday. And on Fridays, I do Dragon Quest Builders too. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications of when I post a new video. 
Other than that, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.